All right, welcome to the introduction to Mega Man X3 with uh, the Mega Man Legacy Collection on PS4. Um, if you're watching this on my channel before I have the X2 video up, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do X2 because uh, I'm, I'm really good with uh, 1 and 3. Um, I can probably practice my way to get good at 4 before I do the video for that. And the other ones, I don't remember them being awfully difficult, but uh, we'll see about that. But yet yeah, 2 is just, it's murderous. It's awful. Uh, I don't have as much to offer in the way of tips and guides for 2. But uh, I do have plenty for three, and I actually had to exercise my hand because uh, I've been hurting myself trying to do this uh, as I get older, trying to charge and dash off the walls. Um, just can't do it like I used to. So uh, we're going to do uh, X3 now that I've uh, done plenty of preparation for that. Um, but I wanted to start here on the intro screen to kind of show you some stuff about the uh, Legacy Collection and why it's so awful. So you can switch between uh, the US Edition and the Japanese Edition, but those only sort of approximate the Super Nintendo version. Uh, for those not familiar with the uh, X3 title, uh, there is a Super Nintendo version that's probably the more, you know, popular, the one mo most people have played. Uh, but there was a uh, PlayStation and a Sega Saturn port that uh, added a uh, introduction video with wonderful music um, and uh, uh, introductions for the, the bosses that were uh, in these uh, cutscene videos. Um, yeah, there's, there's none of that here. Um, and that's weird because in the Legacy Collection that I have for uh, PlayStation 2, it's it's there. Um, I don't know why they would be so lazy as to leave it out of this one. Uh, but I do notice that uh, uh, also when you go down to X4, there's a Japanese uh, song for X4 that they left out. So even if you switch that to Japanese, you don't get the, uh, the Japanese music like you should. But yeah, let's uh, boot up X3 here. Um, and so what I want to show you is uh, some of these filtering options. Um, I've got it sort of on the default settings. Uh, so you, get, you got screen size that will, you know, zoom in and stretch it out. I keep it on the default there. You've got filter that sort of uh, filters the the effects or doesn't filter them at all. Keeps it at the original, you know, pixelation. Um, you can see there's a, a little bit of error around the character, but it's you know otherwise okay. And then you can select your wallpaper, uh, and, you know, unlock them, doing various things in the collection. Um, so yeah, if ever you noticed, you know, a, a couple of pixels out of place on any of the uh, character sprites, it's because of the the filter. All right, so starting up the game here. Yeah, there's where the uh, introduction video would have been, but. Uh, Capcom gypped us. And company doesn't do anything but remakes. Can't even make a remake right. Uh, so as you see, I switched the dash to the trigger button. Uh, as usual, you'll see me doing that at the beginning of pretty much all of these uh, games that don't have that by default. Well, I don't remember the PlayStation 2 so that's uh, I don't know. That's where I'm going to keep it. And there would have been another uh, cutscene video right here. But again, crap calm. This crap calm. Yeah, see, so in Zero's helmet, you can see uh, a pixel that's sort of flashing irregularly. Uh, of the and then, yeah, on the X's shoulder pad right there. Charge shots. Um, and then, yeah, this game you start out with the dash. Uh, and 
there's also lots of uh, those energies uh, kind of placed throughout the level of this game. Um, so that's that's one of the unfortunate uh, things about the way this game is programmed. And of course, you just saw me get a bunch of life drops. But life drops are actually notoriously hard to get in this game. Um, you actually have to use one of the special weapons uh, just because of the way it was coded. Um, and oh yes, betrayal by Mac. This leads us down into uh, Zero taking over. So this is uh, the first game where Zero is a playable character. Um, you can tag him in for certain parts of the level. Uh, I only use him sort of for this part at the end where you uh, get to hang on to a Z saber. So when you charge up Zero, it'll go green, and you get two shots, and then the Z saber. And the Z saber is sort of like instant kill for mini bosses and two hits with the Z saber to take down the boss. So it's a pretty hefty piece of machine. And then Zero just has kind of regular dashes. Uh, so with this wall right here, you always want to jump to this other side first. And then whenever the ball hits the other side, you jump to the other, side, other one. Just kind of always alternate back and forth. Stay away from the spike. So to make the point about the Z-Saber and mini-bosses, there's the two shots. Hit him with the Saber, and then just a regular pellet blast, and he's done. Um, we'll be seeing a lot more. First, we got to get the X down, so we cut him down. And finish the rest of the level here with X. Alright, so uh, this boss right here has sort of a bobbing action that he does where he sort of bounces up and down. You gotta make sure that he's bouncing low enough so that you can get him in the head. Just kind of do your best to stay out of the way of those things. But not too bad, he goes down pretty easy. Okay, good. Date. Alright, yeah, hooray zero, we did it. Now go scout for clues. The Freddy of the Mega Man games. Alright, so that's the introduction. Um, thanks, thanks for signing up. <laughs>